spirit, my inflatable spirit, but uh, I've been getting a lot of email requests about seeing if I could do like a smaller uh, Jimmy blower motor repair. Um, so uh, let's get started. We'll try this out. This is how you're going to get when you get a... The, base, the first thing you want to do if you have a problem with a um, smaller blower motor is always check uh, the power adapter. If you have like a multimeter, you get like a little multimeter and you should get like a 12 volt DC. Um, coming out of the two prongs inside of here um, That would be your problem if uh, it's not the fan blower motor But uh, I check this first because this is usually um, The problems if it gets wet or a uh, leaf gets stuck in the fan when it's sucking into the uh, inflatable um, But check this out first and see if you can just get this power adapter if it's giving you a 12 volt DC um, out of it because it's 120 volt in, 12 volt DC out. Um, definitely after that, I would know it's the uh, blower motor inside the uh, inflatable. With that said, let's get to the inflatable. Here's what your inflatable is going to look like. You open up the zipper part of it and you pull out the motor section what you're going to need um, for basic tools on this is you're going to need a little uh, screwdriver to get the button off for the uh, LED uh, a little pair of dikes or wire cutters as you call them these are a little pair of dikes and a tie wrap to put the motor back in so you got to get down and, and you see where they got the tie wrap around here you take this you pull the tie wrap out because they tuck it back in then you're going to take your dikes i call them dikes but wire cutters and what you got to do is you got to reach down onto that as that and just cut it and when you cut that you just release it from there you can pull the old one out then you have your blower motor just remember when you reverse this that your power cable has to go back towards the back of the inflatable so you can plug it in it goes down over the motor with a new tie wrap install. So just remember that when you're putting it back together. As for your LED, you'll see your LED button on the back. Just take a little screwdriver. If you can get under it sometimes you can't and I hate to say this but I use I use like a little razor knife and you just pop that but you don't want, you don't want to cut your uh, inflatable so you try to get the smallest screwdriver you can and you just pop that off you pop the button off the LED pulls right out This is how you have it. You got the blower motor and the LED, just like that. So next thing you want to do is put your tie wrap in. Just push it right around. Until it comes out. 
like that. And just remember, take it so you know the outside. Remember when you put this motor in, when you put this motor in, gotta undo the mess I got here. See, when you have that motor like that, you're gonna reach in from the inside. So the first thing I do, just so I don't forget, I bring the power cord out. From the inside out, bring the power cord. Then you put your motor back in. As shown. And then the motor, it'll come out through the groove. Now you can flip it back over. You want to start the zip tie. Make sure you have the zip tie going in the right direction. You want to put that back on there like that. Then just tighten up the zip tie. There you go. You can tuck it back in, like Jemmy has it come if you want. There you go, the motor's back in. Take your LED, reach back into the inflatable. That's the hardest part, finding a hole where the LED was. Just pull it straight, flat, look for the hole for where the LED was. It's usually in the back of the inflatable. See it down here? See there's a hole? You take your LED button, I mean a light, you push it back through, and you put your button on. Done. So you just replaced a Jemmy small blower motor, that easy. You can save your inflatable. You don't have to get rid of it. You can just buy a replacement uh, blower motor on eBay or something um, and your driver. We can try it and test it out if you want. Just remember that the, the LEDs, you could add an extra LED. A LED doesn't draw much. So you could add an extra one if you want to brighten it up. Um, if you cut the LEDs and say you splice it, say you don't want to do all the button thing, you want to splice it to the original LEDs, because the LEDs don't really go bad, they last so long, just make sure you have the polarity right on a 12 volt DC when you make your splice. All right, let's try this out quick. We'll put this in there, put that on there, take the power cord here. And remember, there's like a six second delay on the 12 volts. It has to change it from 120 to 12 volt DC. So sometimes you'll have a little six second volt delay. There you go. That's how you do it. That's the small inflatable blower motor install. I hope that helps everybody out. Um, nice being back on YouTube, I guess. Uh, have a great holiday, everybody.